Hey what's happening guys this is Shukesh once again and welcome to the second episode of the tips and tricks series videos on the all new Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus check the description below for the episode number 1 now on the previous episode I have shown you some tricks on the lock screen in this episode I have for you some amazing tips and tricks some hidden features on the home screen you will surely love to know so without any further ado let's get started First of all, when you tap and hold the app shortcuts you have on your home screen, you get different options including this disable feature so you can temporarily suspend the functioning of an application without uninstalling so if you want to uninstall a very big application especially games, you can actually disable the app so that you can re-enable when needed without having to download once again. This will also save battery. Now on some apps, you will get a sleep mode as well. This mode will prevent the apps from using the battery in the background and you will not get notifications and app updates but once you launch the app, it will wake up and start functioning once again. There is also another option for secure folder that is you can duplicate the apps and keep one secured under the secure folder. This is how you can maintain two profiles on your Galaxy S8. For example, if you add Facebook to the secure folder, you can log into a different Facebook account. If you capture images using the secure folder camera, then those images won't show up on your normal gallery of your smartphone. I will talk more about the secure folder on the third episode of this video series. Now there is a very interesting function I have found in the settings menu. Go to the home screen settings and hide apps. So now you can actually hide your applications. There will be no trace of these apps. You cannot find them in the apps drawer. So if you want to hide your sensitive applications or games from your gaming freak friends, you can try this awesome feature. The Amazon app I have hidden is now invisible in the apps drawer. Let's unhide and check again. Of course, if your friend know about this feature, then there is nothing you can do. As you can see, the app is back. Now just like any other Android device, you have app shortcuts on the home screen and a separate apps drawer, but if you want, you can actually go for a single page view that is all of your apps will be on your home screen and there will be no separate apps drawer, just like iOS. Go to this home screen layout setting and switch to the home screen only view. Now as you know the display aspect ratio of Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus is 18.5 is to 9 but most of the applications are actually optimized for 16 is to 9 displays so if you want full screen view of your apps you can actually check this option here. A lot of apps are already optimized and for the rest of the apps you can either enable or disable full screen view. For example, this application is now in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. You have blank screen at the top and also at the bottom part of the screen but if you enable this feature then you get the full screen view. Now this is very important. The default resolution of your S8 and S8 Plus is Full HD Plus but if you want to get the most out of the display, do switch to Wide Quad HD Plus resolution which offers 529 ppi which is needed for VR gaming. Since the display is huge, this will put some strain in your eyes so you can reduce the blue light emitted by the display, make the screen warm. I do recommend you to schedule this option from sunset to sunrise as blue light disrupt sleep patterns by increasing the alertness to the brain. You can also reduce the capacity and keep this on all the time. Well, you can reduce the eye strain further by turning the display into grayscale. All you have to do is press and hold the power key and the volume up button simultaneously for a while. This trick is not enabled by default. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. As this is a super AMOLED display, grayscale will save considerable amount of battery and this will provide more pleasant reading experience in the browser or in ebooks. Now go to your settings menu, then accessibility, direct access, enable this option. It will create a shortcut to the following options here. I have enabled grayscale but you also have couple of other options. So it's a really nice and handy trick I think you should enable on your S8 and S8 Plus. 
Though you have edge-to-edge -edge screen on this Samsung flagship, still the 6.2 inch screen is not usable. With one hand, you cannot reach the top part of the display with your thumb, so whenever needed, you can just swipe up diagonally from either bottom corners and shrink the whole display to your right or left. This is, I think, a must-know feature, especially if you are the S8 Plus user, so go to the settings menu, then advanced features, one-handed mode. There is another way you can shrink the screen just by triple tapping the home button. I think it's easier than swiping up from the bottom corners. Now one of the main benefits of having a huge screen like this is you can truly multitask, you can minimize that is shrink the applications and convert them into floating pop-up windows. Almost all the apps, both system and third-party apps are supported and you can resize and move these apps anywhere, access multiple apps simultaneously on the screen that is truly multitask and these windows can be further shrinked to floating icons. Tapping the home button will convert all the floating windows into icons. On previous generation Galaxy devices, you could open up to 5 floating icons but on this S8 and S8 Plus, I don't know how many apps you can run simultaneously on the screen. I have tried 11 apps and to my surprise, all those apps were live on the screen so that's insane. So while you are gaming, you can minimize the messaging app and chat at the same time you are gaming or watching videos on YouTube. Now there is another way you can multitask. In the app switcher, you might have noticed this multi-window icon which basically splits the screen into two. These windows can be resized as you wish and you can open up to two apps simultaneously on the screen. Now tapping on the border will reveal these options and you can switch to the floating window version of multitasking. There is another way to split the screen, just tap and hold the apps and swipe to the top. Now what I like most about this multi-window multitasking is you can transfer text from one window to another that is you can take notes very very easily, just select the text and then drag and drop. It's as easy as that. Now you can hide multi windows just by pressing the home button. To get back the multi windows just press the app switcher or any application. Of course you can swipe down or swipe up to open any application in full screen. Now as you know there are two different ways to take a screenshot. You can either press and hold the volume down key and the power key simultaneously or just swipe your hand on the screen. Now using smart capture you can actually scroll and take the screenshot of the whole website. You can also draw or annotate on the screenshot right away. Now there is a very useful car mode application you can download into your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. You can use your voice to make calls and write text messages. This app can read out your messages as well. You can control your music and other features of this application hands free. If your car already has a display then you can mirror your phone screen into your car's display using mirror link. Just connect your phone to the car via USB. No need to mention you can download the car mode application from the Galaxy App Store. Next let's talk about the edge screen feature. Well, as you know, if you swipe on this strip here, you can actually get different edge screens and I have downloaded a couple of new screens which are very useful and also very interesting. You can get live RAM status and also direct call enables you to make calls right away from the edge screen. You can put calculator and also widgets. There are so many edge panels. To download, click on the settings icon and most of these panels are free. You have People Edge, Apps Edge, Yahoo Finance, Sports and also Quick Tools, a coin toss option. You also have Smart Select, Clipboard, Reminder which is the most suitable app. There is Device Maintenance, Task Edge, Weather, Calendar, Samsung Internet, Bookmarks, CNN, Edge Board, Running Apps, Fast Notes, Notification Edge and also a full-fledged Calendar, Data Usage Manager, Quick Notes, Soft Key Edge music controller and also an edge panel for snapchat friends. To download all these panels, just click on this download option here. Well buddies, we are at the end of this episode number 2. The next episode is on the way. Make sure you are subscribed and 
don't forget to watch the episode number one if you haven't already. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. This is Shukesh Banik signing off. Have a nice day, guys.